Hey guys, Mike here with everything about concrete.com. So this video was going to be about pouring and finishing a concrete apron for, for a driveway. Now this is right out in front of a garage. Uh, it's hard to tell in this video because it's the middle of the winter and they got everything kind of tented over and blocked off. But this is a garage apron. And it, it, yes, it's got radiant heat in it. Those tubes are for radiant heat. So they're going to heat this thing in the winter so they don't have to shovel it and you know get ice melting material on it they can just turn on the heat and it'll melt the snow and ice and that's also a trench drain going down the middle of that thing so if, if you didn't see the first video uh part one of this series it's when we formed it and put that trench drain in i'll have a link for it right up pop up right up top here and i'll also have it pop up at the end of the video if you want to wait till the end to go see just how we formed this how we got it all ready and how we installed that trench drain uh, so right now we're just pouring the concrete in there and again let, let me know down in the comments how do you think we're going to finish this thing we got some special finish we're going to put on it uh, let me know if you guessed right depending on what kind of finish you guessed uh, down in the comments so Luke's spreading out the concrete now he's raking it out Darren and I are kind of magging the edges getting everything to grade and we're screeding it and then we're uh, smoothing it off by mag floating it and bowl floating it so that trench drain is an inch lower than the outside edges of the the apron so it slopes everything slopes to that drain an inch and this thing is about seven feet wide total so in about three and a half feet it's got about an inch pitch so there should never be any water sitting on this thing we're pouring the concrete pretty dry we're using a 4000 psi concrete and it's got the microfiber reinforcement in the concrete plus you saw the it had a matter rebar in there also we're just getting it all sloped to the drain correctly and then we're smoothing out the surface here we are finishing up with that and then the next step will be to we're going to cut in some grooves here to help con control any expansion contraction later on down the road and this is the tool I use for that. So it's kind of a walk behind jointer. And it, it allows you to get on the concrete a little earlier in the process of finishing and get those joints cut in nice and early so you can stay ahead of the game. You can see how nice that thing sits right down in there. And then you pull it back, cut your joint in and then run it back and forth a couple times and smooth it right out and then move on to your next one. You can see those corners, those re-entrant corners in that little slab I'm putting those off. That's a pretty good place for the concrete to crack right there when it when it starts to dry and shrink. So that's why I'm putting a joint. I'm going to put one off each one of those. And then I'll put another one off in the center of the garage doors also. So it should have plenty of joints in it. I just wanted to show you guys how well that thing worked. That thing works really good. I get that from Cadillac Concrete Products. I'll have a link down in the description. You guys can check them out. They got a lot of really nice tools. So now what I'm doing is once the concrete sets up quite a bit, and this concrete dried really fast today because like I said, it's in the winter. They got 170 degree water in this concrete to mix. So we didn't have much time to uh, take a break after we got done pouring. So I'm getting right back on it. I'm mag floating out the surface. We always do this before we finish the concrete, no matter what kind of finish we put on it. We smooth out the surface, bring up some good paste, you know, fill in any little imperfections left by the bow float. And this is what we're doing. Did you guys guess right? We're doing a stamped concrete surface. So this is going to look like Ashler Slate when we get done. And right now I'm just broadcasting the release agent on there. And that stuff, the powdered release agent, keeps the stamps from sticking to the surface. And it also adds that secondary antiquing type of color into the concrete when we get done. So this is the process right now. We put down the release agent and we start laying the stamps down and then we just tamp them in the surface. 
We also have a texture roller there where we roll the edges. We put some texture up on the edges before we start stamping usually. And that just makes doing the edges a little bit easier. Because a lot of times, you know, you'll see we got one. Those stamps are pretty rigid. Those ones we're using right there. And we got one really flexible one we'll use up against the walls. And sometimes with that flexible one right there, I'm using it right now. It's hard to get good texture right up against the wall. So that's where that roller comes in handy. You can see this is just a process. We put one down, we tamp it, put the next one down, tamp it in there, and then we just continue going down from one end to the other until we get finished. It's also kind of a dirty process as you can see. It wouldn't be quite so dusty in there if they didn't have that tent built over us. There'd be a lot, a lot more air movement, but because they wanted to be able to heat this space, it's it gets down below freezing at night this time of year where we're at. So they had to tent it over so they could put some heat in here if they had to. Now the concrete, you know, the, the key about stamping is knowing when to start and when to get on it you know you, you can't get on it too early or you'll sink in too much and you can't obviously you can't get on it too late or you won't leave any type of good impression in the surface of the concrete and that's that's the tricky part is learning how to stamp now if if any of you guys out there watching want to learn how to stamp concrete I got a course down there in the description you'll see it you'll say you'll see my stamp concrete course you click on that and it brings up you know some information about that course and it teaches you step by step how to do stamp concrete like this so do you guys that want to learn how to do this and add that to your business that would be a good uh, a good course to get to learn how to do it yeah powdered release that stuff is is pretty dusty so you want to you know make sure you have some good air ventilation which we didn't on this job, but this is a pretty rare case. We don't stamp too much concrete right in the middle of the winter. You can see I'm rolling that edge. We're getting the edges all rolled in advance. That way we know we got good texture on the surface. And those stamps, they go just one way. You can see the, it's they got all got a little notch in them. And that notch always goes in the same direction every time you put a stamp down. Otherwise, the stamps wouldn't line up right. It's nice having that one guy on the outside being able to hold that stamp up on the outside edge. You can see how that flexible one comes in handy. You can move that thing right around it's it's really really flexible compared to the other ones so that's the process stamping is a is a whole different animal compared to just pouring in in regular smooth finishing concrete or broom finishing concrete it, there is a little bit of a learning curve to it and then after you know after you get done stamping because you got to know what to do then now now you got to come back and you got to wash this and clean it and get all that powdered release agent off all the loose stuff the stuff you're not pressing into the surface you got to get it all off before you can put any type of concrete sealer on this thing the sealer's got to have a really clean really porous surface to bond to otherwise it'll just flake off Well, we're finishing up, and for you guys, like I said, if whoever wants to learn how to do stamp concrete, go ahead down there in the description, check that out. If you guys new to my channel, it's all about concrete flat work, all kinds of different types of concrete flat work. So if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead down there and hit subscribe. If you guys like this video, please go down there and hit the like button. 